Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record MIDI output from your MIDI effects plugins and record this and transfer this MIDI information over to another software instrument. So lately I've been doing a lot of videos on using the Scripter plugin and I've been using a lot of the probability presets. Now, someone asked in the comments, a few people actually asked in the comments, how do you transfer all of the MIDI effects um, down to a new software instrument track because essentially all I have here is three notes in the piano roll editor and these three notes are going through the chord trigger it's turning them into chords then that chords being arpeggiated then that's going through the probability gate then that's going through the note repeater and then that's also going through the random offset probability preset in a second scripter plugin so the MIDI effects are transforming three notes into this sort of random uh, arpeggiated pattern. So what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video today is how to take the output of the MIDI effects plugins and record that onto a new software instrument track. And this is also really helpful when you're using uh, the probability presets in Scripter because there's an element of randomness to this, and every time you play this back, it's gonna be a little bit different. So if this is always random, there's no repeatability um, if you're trying to use this in a song. Another reason you may wanna do this is if you're trying to supply uh, MIDI stems to another engineer. Maybe you're just sending the raw MIDI data over to another engineer and he's not working in, in Logic. Maybe he's working in Pro Tools or something and he wants to use other instruments. You're gonna wanna transform all of this MIDI data into something that your collaborator can interpret even if they're in another DAW. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is do a spotlight search for audio MIDI setup. And this will pull up a utility called the audio MIDI setup. When you pull this up, go up to Window, and then go to Show MIDI Studio. From here, go to the IAC driver and double click on that, and make sure that this is online. If it's off, make sure to turn this on. Then close the window out, and then you can close out the audio MIDI setup completely. Next, you need to create a new software instrument track to transfer all this MIDI data to. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate the Synthgate track here, and on the duplicated version, I'm gonna get rid of all of the MIDI effects plugins. I'm just gonna bypass them all. Everything else can stay there though. Then on the original track, what you're gonna do is change the instrument on that channel to an instrument down under utility called external instrument. So with this, you're gonna change the MIDI destination to IAC driver bus. And then that's all you really have to do. Um, one thing you may wanna do is auto compensate the latency because sometimes the notes can be a little bit uh, off time if you don't compensate for the latency. And then really it's pretty simple from here. All you have to do is arm the duplicated channel for recording and hit R to record. So the notes are still a little behind. This is just MIDI latency. Uh, it's just something you have to deal with. Uh, just hit Command A and then quantize to whatever value you need to quantize to. So in my case, it's a 16th note. So everything's locked onto the grid. And now what you can do is delete the original. You don't even need that there anymore. So now you have something that's repeatable. So I can trim this up, maybe grab measures five through eight and duplicate this over, and then duplicate that whole unit over. I don't have to rely on the probability and the randomness of it anymore. So I started with something random and now it's something that's structured and repeatable in my song. So now I can reset that whole channel strip and get rid of all those MIDI effects plugins and I can load up any instrument I want because the MIDI sequence is here. I'm no longer relying on the MIDI effects plugins 
to transform my MIDI signal. Let's try out a sculpture patch here. So that's how you can capture and record the MIDI output from your MIDI effects in Logic Pro 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you'd like to make a monthly donation to the channel, you can also check me out at patreon.com forward slash Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.